everybody, Paradox here. Welcome back to The Division. So this this uh, episode, is, or this segment, is actually gonna, just going to be maybe 15 to 20 minutes long. I'm just going to be testing things out. I'm, I'm, I swapped up a lot of the configurations that I had up in OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, what I used to record all my footage. Because I noticed that a lot of my videos, there are dropped frames every few seconds, especially in games like Tomb Raider and this, The Division, because it's I, I run the games at 60 frames per second, and the recording, it gets really choppy. The audio is fine, but the video isn't. So I'm going to be navigating through here, but I'm not going to do anything too major. Maybe I'll do like a side mission or two. Nothing that would detract from the overall experience of watching a Let's Play of the PvE elements of this game. So with that said, we'll just continue and act as normal. Man, I I used to volunteer as a a medical first responder, and these kinds of setups here. I mean, this is like for viruses and outbreaks. But we'd volunteer at big events, massive outdoor concerts, and our ops team would always set up these really intricate and elaborate tents where we could treat patients and triage and organize ourselves, take breaks, etc. It was pretty cool. Uh, this kind of reminds me of it. Now this is haunting, seeing these guys just mourn the loss of their friends or family. Oh shit, it's tough. Oh, it's another player. I'm still getting used to the icons of the minimap. You know you want this. Got your eye on something? I mean Yeah, but how do I see the cost? Oh there. 153. Okay, I could definitely buy stuff Whatever. now. That's see nice. You but not super, super necessary. Oh, Agent, you look tired. Look, I hate to be the one to tell you, but we got so much to do here. So remember, wool is best in this weather, not synthetics. Listen, they got me doing this radio business because I got the sciatica, but you can count on me to give you the info you need, honey. I like her. We meet her uh, a bit later on as well, and she just got some great sass. Unless it's someone else. It's possible it's two different people, but the, the people that would give you like a situation report, I, I like them. Very entertaining. Mmm. I love that. High tech user interfaces are always fun. We are working hard to respond to this outbreak. By staying informed and following the instructions of health officials, you can protect yourself, your family, and the community against this public health threat. Okay. Do I have anything in my stash? Nah. Not well. Oh, I got a new, uh... A new pistol, I think. Yeah! Wait, what's... What is this? That... That thing with the... No, 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 I want to know what the guy with the hat is. Oh, here you go, talent. This weapon deals 100% more damage when the target is below health. Below 30% health. That's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, I don't think it's locked as a gun. Or maybe I just got lucky and got two of the same talents. Not too certain. But, y'a quelqu'un de français? Ben. Oui, Monasticalis. Just a bit of polite, polite French conversation right there. Uh, and I'm afraid this guy's actually going to <laughs> join up. Yeah, you've got friends only. Okay, so he won't be able to just plop into my party. Alright, so. Right away, we got a whole bunch of stuff that we can investigate, so let's go look around. Here we go, Assault the Stronghold. So this is going to be combat, and that's actually good. This is this is going to be a good test for the frames. Uh, I might just end the recording there. Look back at the footage and see how well it recorded. And I discovered you can actually check the logs of your OBS to see if it had any errors. So yeah, I did look at past logs and there were lost frames, so. 
You know what Ubisoft did when they did research into... Before they built the game, they did research uh, into what would happen during an actual sort of pandemic or apocalypse. And... Oh. Hold up. Guess I'll go for this one. Uh, what would happen during an apocalypse? And they ran simulations. And so the placement of cars and the way the world feels, it's pretty on par with what it would be like in the real world. S should a situation like this ever arise. No one's looking for trouble here. All right. So we got some nice little stronghold here. 80 meters out. I see them. Morning. Marked hostile headquarters detected. You trying to get me killed? They're everywhere. Chill out. No one's out there. One, two, three, four. I'll show you. Oh, someone's out there. Nothing. Now get back to your post. do a lot of damage. This is really different than the beta. It's, it's actually like really challenging. I love this. Okay. Is there anything inside I can investigate? Over here? Yes. Safety holster and I will equip it because it gives me more stats. Uh, I think there was a dropped item somewhere around here. Yeah. Oh, just more ammo. Okay. So what's this? Oh, a safe house. All right. Side mission, side mission. More encounters. Yeah, the, a lot of these were in the beta. Th this one was actually also in the beta, but it was so much easier. Like I felt like a tank, the amount of bullets I could absorb. All right, so I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to pause, go check out the video. Hopefully I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. And I'm back. All right, so uh, it turns out I recorded the last seven minutes in 30 frames because I did drop it down to see if that would help. Um, well, I mean, I think it was smooth in terms of there weren't any lost frames. It was still 30 frames, so it was a little noticeably laggier. So we're gonna do another small mission that involves combat and see if after that we can compare the two. Michelle Mason. I remember that was pretty tough actually. Let's do the water supply because it's... I get medical wing supplies out of that. Okay. I know there's something in here. One thing I really enjoy about this game, God, I'm, I'm gonna be saying that a lot during these uh, playthroughs, is uh, I love that you can just sprint eternally. There's a lot of games where I, you know you're a soldier, but you can only run 10 feet before you're out of breath. It just it's the kind of game design that they, it's like they're trying to make the game feel longer, but really it's just annoying. Doesn't really make much sense to me. So on our way, hopefully we're going to find some loot items. Maybe we'll find the civilian in distress that we can help out. Give them a, a med kit, give them a water bottle, and they'll give us clothes for it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Alright, so we're on 10th Avenue. And we are 0.3 kilometers away. Not bad. Short jog away. 
if you look at my backpack, you can notice that I actually have this weird disc thing. From what I understand, that is the visual representation of the pulse ability. When you enter the dark zone and play against other players, if you get a chance to sneak a peek at their backpack, then you're actually able to know what abilities they have equipped, and it gives you a nice edge. So you can preemptively... Oh! Thank God for people like you. Modern watch cap. Huh. Nah. I'm not feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. But we did help someone, so I feel good about that. Uh, right, so in the dark zone, if you can see what skills another player has equipped, you can plan out your assault, assuming you're gonna go rogue and kill other players. Choice is yours. Come on, what you got in here? Yeah, that's, that's a good vantage point right there. Ah, much better. I think if I stop holding the trigger down for too long and do it in bursts, I'll have a, hard, a, a better time managing my recoil. So we're heading into the sewers to fix the water supply, and we're actually going to meet one of the main factions of the game. Ooh. Que paso? Okay. Oh, are you okay? Okay. Bleah. Huh? She said something, I didn't hear what she said. And here we go. Michelle Trudeau. So this must be another division agent. This, this little thing about Michelle Trudeau was in the beta, but it didn't actually result in anything, so I'm pretty excited to see what we get now. Intercepting radio transmission. Stand by. Guys, we're gonna have to cut the city's water pressure. Yeah, they're putting out our fires faster than we can start them. We can't let them get in the way of the job. So the cleaners are people that have taken it upon themselves to try and rid the city of the virus by the most one of the most violent ways imaginable. They are actually uh, pretty much burning everything. They figured if everything's gone, then there's no more virus, and they save New York City. So in their own twisted minds, they're doing what they think is right. Missing agent found. Okay. I was hoping there'd be maybe some sort of audio file, but... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I actually meant to get the drop on them. Alright, I gotta play this really smart. Heal a little bit. Really just peek in and out. Okay, right, let's see what this guy gives us. Oh! I'll equip that. Oh, level lock. Unfortunate. I do enjoy that with the cleaner, since they all have an oxygen tank, you can shoot at it, and if your accuracy is pretty good, uh, which mine is not, so if you're pretty lucky, <laughs> you can blow their tank up. Your purchase can now are now available and can be retrieved from the rewards claim vendor. Oh, is this maybe my, uh... I had this, an Origins code thing that gave me a few extra... A few extra... Cosmetic items. So I think that's what I'm getting. Reload, reload, reload. Alright, we're good. Warning. Water pressure at critical levels. A 
Hostile forces approaching. I was really hoping the explosion would take the other guys out. I think it did damage to the third one that came in. He seemed a little low, but all good. Yeah, my my weapons have a huge fall off and down based on this. I lobbed a grenade. Don't work out with the shield. Awesome. Warning. Water pressure at critical levels. And that guy's trying to flank me. There. Nice. We did it. Dump online. Water pressure stabilizing. Silly mask. Quit. Confirmed. Water pressure restored to normal. No hostile activity detected. Fantastic. Okay. So we did this. I'm just gonna pause. I'm gonna uh, check the recording, and I'll be back in a second. I'm back once again. Okay. So it actually worked out well. I didn't see any noticeable frame drops. I think I did it. We did it, guys. We now have a solid recording system. So I still can't equip that. That's fine. What else can we get? Uh, this is all junk. Yep. Okay, junk. Junk. Junk, junk. Junk, junk. I won't sell the the weapons, but I will mark everything else as junk so I can sell it in one fell swoop. Okay. Where are we now? We don't have any more med kits. That could be an issue. So let's make our way here at Chelsea Medical Supplies. Oh my god, this is just awful. But we got a medical supply drop that was sent out yesterday, and it's gone missing. Imagine, those sick people could use that. Can you be a deer and look for it? <laughs> yes, Queen Sass, yes we can. We are gonna go there right away. Uh, how much ammo do I have? Uh, not a lot. Okay, well, with any luck, we'll find a 
a restock crate on our way there. Or, you know, at the mission itself, which would be nice. So for now, if I encounter any guys in the street, any thugs, I'll just use my pistol. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. There's gotta be a way to climb up faster. I'm so impatient. Okay. So I got my pistol on. Oh, and we're super close too. Alright, so I'll complete this side mission. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. And oh, here we are. Warning, incoming hostiles. Whoa, Isaac is seems pretty rattled. Don't worry, Isaac. We'll keep you safe. I promise. Where? Where are said hostiles? Oh, I think they're up there. Yeah, here they are. Warning, supplies taking fire. Wait, what? left of health. Okay, maybe it'll be safer to switch to an automatic. Warning. Supplies taking fire. Oh. Oh. Oh, I have the high ground advantage though. Shot at me. I need my pulse back. only has four bullets left. Still on my last bar. Oh, maybe these guys will drop something. Fragging. Supplies taking fire. Oh, over here. Oh my god. No. I think that was a really good grenade. Come on, come on. Just peek your little head out. I must say we're all very impressed with how you got that medical supply drop secured. I'm gonna tell Benny all about you when I see him. He's gonna love it. Sure, thanks. Whew. Okay. Oh, and there's med kits. There's med kits. Med kits galore. Wow, I'm so. Oh, shh. Oh, it's the JTF. Okay. Whew. I was nervous for a second. Um. All right, Bounty Michelle Mason. Let's make our oh, way there. Oh, honey, there's a cold-blooded murderer out there. Some awful lady named Michelle Mason. 
I guess they want me to ask you to stop her, but you have to promise me you'll be careful. I'll upload her last known location, but nobody can say I didn't warn you. See if they dropped any ammo? Yes, they did. Okay. Alright. We got a full reload. We have two medkits. Oh, we're going to destroy the side mission. And I think that might conclude episode two. Maybe I'll do a bit more. We'll see. So we should get the guy with the bat. I don't have any more grenades though. It's fine. Shit. Well, I see this. Should not be out in the open like that. Oh, okay. I'm still, I still have one bar. Shoot him. Oh shit. Fuck. <sighs> I'm so happy I have another second gun right now. Uh, he did drop something. I'll check what it is after. Oh, what I have to do. Wait, how do I pick it up? There we go. Oh, I have to hold X. That's fine. Okay, so he's hiding there. Fantastic. Okay, area secured. What have you got for me? Vertical grip? Oh, that's a mod. For a gun. That's good. Very, very good. Mm. A flashbang, okay. That will come in handy for sure. Ah, no grenades. So I've got a single flashbang. I have one medkit left. I think we can still do this. Okay, how many have we got? Alright, so still gotta focus. For sure, every time. Hey, aim for the gut. What, you scare of us? No. I'm not scared. Just bullets bullets are they're they're painful, you know? Nice and slow, nice and slow. Quick get to reload. Or move. Okay, his armor, he has two blocks of armor left. Almost done. Neutralize Michelle Mason. Oh, do I have any 40% healing effect? Ah, that's it. I don't have anything to help against an elite enemy. It's 
fine. I'm just gonna do it the hard way. All right, here we go. You look like you got some fun. Get away from me! Shell's up there. So we're just gonna make our way there. I also wanna fight her from down here. Nah. Yeah, she holds the high ground advantage. found everything you needed. Isn't that Ooh. nice? I hope you didn't get any blood on your gear. It's the hardest stain to get out of the laundry. Ah, level 5 need. Alright. Weapon parts for crafting. More weapon parts for crafting. And... Nice! A new gun. Uh, it does more damage. It has a slightly... Slight smaller magazine, but more damage. Hmm. I'll take it. We'll decide what we want to do after. Just make our way out of here. Uh, is there a short way through here? I wonder. Because I know certain missions, you can always... There's like a shortcut you can get, like when we're at the police officer. And I think I'm stuck. gonna do <laughs> uh how do i fast here we go fast travel pretty irritating Stash there. Let's go find some vendors. So you have a lot of junk. May as well sell it. Our inventory is getting a little full. Alright, how do I sell junk? Sell. Sell junk. Alright. Got some solid credits out of that. I don't think I'm gonna buy any weapons just yet. Doesn't seem super necessary. We're probably gonna find really good stuff just on our own. I'll definitely restock though. Okay. Is there anything else for us to do? Oh, there's my friend Andrew. Okay. Uh, um. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go 
do our first oh, main mission. Pin down. Where's my backup? I've got no one to send you. We've got wounded. We've got guys going over the wire. It's there's no one coming. I'm sorry. I don't care. Anything you got. Anything. Get off the radio and get yourself here. They're breaking through. We don't have enough to hold. Let's go establish our base of operations. Actually. We know that the base of operations is under siege from whatever criminals have taken over Madison Square Garden. We don't have numbers and they don't seem to have a leader, but the JTF is stretched thin. This has to be our first priority, Agent. Get our base back and we'll go from there. Okay. So I'll go establish our base of operations. And I'll give you guys the tour. It's really cool. Oh, I... I I love base building in games. I played what was I played XCOM 2 recently, and that's really fun. Played XCOM Ending Within, really fun. Uh, like that kind of base building is super satisfying. In this one, it's the same concept. Like you still start out with a very weak base, but eventually you get upgrades. And so the two side missions that we did, uh, when we did assault the stronghold over here, and when we reset the water supply. We got different credits for the three different wings in the game. So we have medical, tech, and security, and those are the three wings of the base. And as I mentioned before, you get new abilities by leveling up your base. So by doing all these side missions, we get more credits that we can then use to upgrade and improve the base of operations. So by getting medical credits, we can say buy a quarantine area or a viral research lab or a clinic. And the more we do that, the more abilities we get, the more modifiers for those abilities we get. It's super cool. But, first thing we gotta do is actually establish a base of operations. So that's where we're headed. And I just discovered Pennsylvania Plaza. And, mmm, look at this lighting. It's so nice. Fools. Wait, what the hell? Oh, is it just snow or something? I guess so. Okay. Ew. Keep your germs away from me, sir. Okay. Man, I love the way this map looks. Oh, new encounter. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see if we can go help out. Alert. Yeah, let's do it. Intercepting JTF radio traffic. Taking small arms fire. Small arms fire. Who would have us in their sight? JTF, hearing this? Please respond. Tracking signal. Analysis complete. Uploading coordinates. Morning. Hostile forces approaching. Right. From where? Oh, up ahead. Oh, let's get closer. Yeah, it's pretty fun that you can just be wandering around and then... Yeah, they're cheering me on. So you're just wandering around and then bam, an encounter. They can just stop whatever you're doing, go help out. Oh, this ladder is highlighted. Let me just see what's up here. Maybe something juicy. Something exciting. Something that'll change my life. No. Absolutely not. So sad. Ouch. Oh well. Onwards to our base of operations. 70 meters out. 
Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Uh, oh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. All right. Alert. Patching into local GTA radio channels. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. About damn time you got us some help. Get him here right now. That is just the one to watch. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go. Alright, I'm coming. I'm here. Let's do this. You guys need to just chill out. Uh, where are the other ones? Oh, there's one. Shit, who should we move? Oh, over there. Poopal? Oh, pool. Ugly name like that. Jeez. Let's move up a bit. Oh, we can grab cover there. Perfect. Last one, I think. Yeah. Situation outside is now under control. My official report: the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. All right, home sweet home. This is our base of operations. Air ventilation and purification systems online. Contamination levels lowered. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors, there's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander Benitez is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. Woo! Alright, we unlocked a new slot. A new skill ability, so let's grab... The shield is pretty useful, but you can only use your sidearm with it, so I feel like it's a lot better when you have a friend. Like, I can draw the aggression of the enemies onto me, and then the friend can you know, go around them and shoot them, so I'll go for the sticky bomb. Alright, so I like this, how... You know, it's a pretty big, big base of operation, so there's little lines that can guide you to each wing. Small touch that is very nice from a design point of view. Alright, now there should be some sort of rewards vendor, right? Somewhere? 
Oh, let's talk to my favorite well, lady. So you're a yeah, Shelly Strong, agent, yeah. Huh? Different one, but still Great. just a sassy. Now, uh, don't dwell on all the death and carnage around you or the fact that so many have tried to do what you're about to attempt and failed and died what surely must have been a horrible death. Sure, they have more support than you do now, but so what? Fate's random and heartless. Nothing you can do about that. Hey, what are you positive. looking for? You think? I'm just, uh, real glad it's gonna be you out there in the field and not me. But I'll let you know what we got. Okay? I don't understand half of what Candle says, but she says there could be something bigger about the train wrecks. Good luck out there. Alright, map update complete. And now look at all the stuff that we can do. There is so much more to explore. An incident report, more side missions. Yeah. Look all you want. Another time. Jersey, where's the rewards vendor? Crafting station. The security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF loved the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. Alright, well, let's boot her up. Completed that part. Uh, crafting station. I'll okay. investigate that later. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies for civilians, but for us as well. Yeah, this is a a dump. But with each wing you upgrade, it, it gets so much nicer, cleaner, operational. Oh, it's, Really well done. Okay, now we just need the tech wing, right? Take a look before it sells out. I only sell claimed. the best. Whoa, look at all this stuff. <gasps> yes. Yes. Can I just grab all of it? Uh, there should really be a claim all button. We're a little low on shopping bags. <laughs> Cute. Uh, where am I? Security wing. See, this is why they set up those little lights. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, I need yellow. The tech wing has obviously seen better days, but if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. Yeah, I suspect so too. Jeez, I need some custodians as well. All right, so. I did just get a lot of stuff, so let's just take a quick peek. Armor, safety vest, utility vest, skill power. Okay, let's go for more health, for sure. Uh, we get more DPS, we get a, a oh, significantly less health. Uh-uh, no way, I'm not willing to make that trade off. Uh, armor, here we go. Well, these are essentially all the same, I think. Oh, they each have a special ability, okay. All right, uh, 36 backpack capacity, cool. 15% exotic damage resilience, 50% burn resilience, plus 20 shotgun damage, plus two medkit capacity, plus 75% ammo capacity. Um, I see the medkit. We're using a lot of the medkits. Okay. Oh, nice, look at that. Looks like my old first aid kit. And okay, here we go. Hats. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Hell no. I was saying, if I'm wearing one of these hats, why does my ponytail just disappear? Yeah, what the? What's up with that? 
No, I refuse. Uh, okay, jackets. So do you want the paramedic jacket? Firefighter jacket, police jacket, cargo j Oh, I like the red. Okay, let's go for red. I don't have any scarves. It's fine. Do I have matching pants? Huh. Alright, I think that's good. Shirts, simple training hoodie. What do we got? Cardigan. So fancy. Hunter shirt. Uh, I like the hoodie. And for shoes. Wow, it's so blurry. I can't actually tell. I have no idea what I'm grabbing. Sure. Oh, unwatched intel. Field data. Missing agents. Oh, here we go. Oh, was, oh, I kept saying Michelle. It's Michael Trudeau. Okay. Whoa. Psych psychological profile. Was the chess project's child attended Tulane on a track scholarship and graduated with a double major in physics and game theory. Worked in the financial sector for five years. Later quit to become a professional poker player. Huh. Okay. Cool. What's this? Nothing. Evidence? Nothing. Uh, yep. And I have mods that I can modify the, our guns with. Let's look at that after. Let's boot her up. Bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Ooh. All right. Fantastic. All right, so we have a bunch of options now. We can do the security. Security mission, know? medical mission, or the tech mission. Jesus. I think we do the security mission first because I read online that, where is it? Is it in perks? Yeah, here we go. Increase XP gain from all activities by 10%. So if we can do some if we can get a, a security wing upgrade, then the rest of the game will be, I don't, I'm not going to say easier, but it'll definitely be a lot better for us if we can level up at a faster pace. Keep up with everything. So we're going to do that. What are you doing? You're hurting him. And yeah, wow, there's, there's a lot for us to do. So fantastic. We are taking the city back one step at a time. And I will see you agents next time. Thank you so much. And see you next time. Take care.